Hey everybody. So I wanted to talk through how I handle chores in our house. Um, we call them tasks <laughs> um, because some of it is, a, it's like a combination of like daily chores, um, a bits of schoolwork sometimes and things like that. So um, every month I give everybody a new task list. list. Um, and so it's the beginning of March. And so I'm going to show you how I'm switching from February into March. In the hallway wall, we have this little chalkboard thing. Um, and so every beginning of the month, I write the month so that if DJ needs to spell it or something like that, he can, um, look up the board or the calendars around the house and spell February. And then every kiddo gets um, a different list and then at the bottom we either write a verse or a phrase that we're trying to really focus on that month and as you can see it's in the hallway it's in a high trafficked area lots of little fingers hit it but normally I can um, translate finger swept writings so last month um, DJ did bed piano the bedroom books in his room and the lower level of the dishwasher um, couple of things that I think through as I'm doing these lists is like every month, sometimes they have the same chore. So every kid makes their bed every month. Um, and I try to help them every month at the beginning, remember what, what I want from them as far as like how to make their sheets and put their pillows in a pillowcase and things like that. Um, and then during the month, I let them do it to the best of their ability. Um, it is never to mom standard, but none of them are adults. So try to give myself and them grace. Um, for the older two, they always have piano. Um, they take piano lessons every week. And so that is just part of their morning tasks. So we don't forget to do it during the afternoon, during school work time and things like that. And then the rest, I kind of switch around based on what they did the previous month. Um, like with DJ, said March, he'll have his chicks added to his list. Um, and then I try to give them each an animal chore or things like that. And then um, I also, something for me personally, I work to find a balance. There are certain chores that I have to help with. And so um, it's kind of an added stressor for me in the morning. It's not a bad stressor, but it's stressed added on. Um, for example, like Spencer and Lexi can sweep. They like to help sleeping, but they don't sweep the dining room to like a clean standard, they, they're they learning to sweep for fun. So if I were to put Spencer on dining room sweeping, I would minimize my other morning stressors. Um, I Same thing with like, if I were to put Lexi on silverware, like I would be having to help her with the silverware because she doesn't quite figure out, she's, she's little, so she's still learning how to sort things out, how they go in the drawer. And so as I'm looking at morning chores, I'm finding a balance of what skills do they need to learn, but also what can I handle personally, knowing fit March is going to be a super very busy month as far as prepping plants and watering and animals and chicks and things like that. So I try to work through that balance um, for the kids as far as like learning skills, but also for me, like how, what can I manage and tr teach them well? without getting frustrated and stressed out. Um, and then it all just being um, pretty, pretty rocky of a month. All right, so I just erased the whole board. Kind of gives us the clean month slate. One of the reasons I like the chalkboard is because you can just erase it. And then if they mess it up, you can just rewrite it really easy. Ta-da! All right, and now we start over. Spencer always throws the books on the floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Spencer did the bedroom books last month. Yeah, I know you did the living room books last month, didn't you? Uh-huh, and I helped them. You did. Okay, so this month, kind of working through, I had to double back and look at what I filmed because I couldn't remember who had what chores. 
Um, so we're gonna try DJ on bed, piano, his chicks in the laundry room, bedroom books, and sleeping in the dining room. Um, this is in part, because he's already been doing this, um, okay. where he spills bedding sometimes or feed, he does a really good job of going back and sweeping it. So just kind of give him that added task, but it's not really extra because he already does it. Um, Lane this month is going to switch from the lower dishes washer just to doing the silverware. So he has a little bit of an easier month where last month he had to do quite a bit more. Um, and then this month, Spencer is going to feed Duke because and do the living room books and Lexi's gonna help with the kitty cats with the weather getting pretty um on nice days I'll take her out and help me with the kitties and then obviously like throughout the day they help clean up their rooms and clean up the toys and do other various tasks but these are the ones that are expected of them every day um except for on Sundays I don't make them practice their piano on Sundays um but this just kind of helps them learn some skills um, one of my th favorite things about homeschooling is they get to learn life skills. Um, so periodically they'll help me cook or things like that. But then they also are learning tasks of being able to manage a household, um, which for me is important for boys and girls because you never know. They might be bachelors their whole lives or they may have a wife that works outside the home and they stay home. So, and then you may just, you never know. So Preparing them for all walks of life is important to me. Um, so that's what my goal is with tasks and chores.